The story of Elisha, day nine of our Advent block story time, fire on the mountain. After the walls of Jericho fell down, God's people lived in the land God had made for them. Pretty soon, God gave them kings to rule over them. Some of the kings listened to God and they led God's people to listen to God. And when they listened, God came back. But most of the kings were bad. They didn't listen to God. So God's people didn't listen to God either. They didn't care if God was there or not. That didn't stop God, no. He loved them the way you love your best friend, with a no matter what kind of love. So God kept reaching out to his people. He sent them special messengers called prophets. Their job was to remind God's people that the only way they could be happy was if God was with them. One of those messengers was Elijah. And God used Elijah to get everyone's attention. One day, Elijah asked the king, Why aren't you listening to God anymore? Why are you listening to Baal, the fake God? Baal didn't rescue you from Egypt. God did. Meet me on the top of Mount Carmel tomorrow and I'll prove it. So Elijah showed up on Mount Carmel. The king came too, along with 450 prophets of Baal. And all around the mountainside, God's people gathered around to watch. They wanted to see who was stronger, God or Baal. Who do you think was stronger? Elijah decided they would have a contest. He would put a bull on one altar. They would put a bull on another altar. Then they would ask their God to do a miracle, to send down fire to burn up the bull. Whoever sent fire was the real God. After all, that's how God led his people out of Egypt, with a cloud and with fire. The prophets of Baal went first, all 450 of them. Well, they danced around and they sang songs and they jumped up and down and they did everything they could. But there wasn't any fire. Just a bunch of guys dancing and shouting and looking silly. Elijah went next. He put water all over the altar. A lot of water. Buckets of water. Buckets of buckets of water. Buckets of buckets of buckets of water. Everyone thought, there's no way that will burn. Then Elijah prayed, God, you're the same God who was with Abraham and with Isaac and with Jacob. And you should be our God too. But no one is listening. So to get everyone's attention, would you send fire on this altar? And you know what? God did it. Like a thunderbolt from heaven, fire came down and scorched the altar, the bull, and even the water. Everyone who saw it said, Baal isn't a real God. Only God is God. What a great day. But things weren't always easy for Elijah after that. The king didn't like losing his contest on Mount Carmel. And Elijah had to run and hide in a cave. Elijah thought he was all alone in that cave. But Elijah wasn't alone. Even when Elijah was hiding, even when Elijah was in a dark, dark cave, and when Elijah was the only one on Mount Carmel who thought God would win the contest, God was with him. God was very happy with Elijah. And many years later, God decided to come down and bring Elijah up to live with him forever. That was good news for Elijah. But it reminded the rest of God's people that God wasn't always there. You see, God couldn't remain. Sin drove him away. So Elijah and God's people began to hope and to pray. God, will you come back?